Should you avoid training in harsh conditions? If you'd like to know my opinion about it, stay tuned and watch this short video. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and today I'll be talking about whether you should avoid training in harsh conditions. And as you can already see, and from this guy in the background here, we've already trained and you shouldn't avoid training in the harsh winter conditions or any other conditions at all. So, in my opinion, it actually strengthens you. What, am, what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, if you only train in perfect conditions, you're not gonna get much training in. And if you avoid training in, in harsher conditions, you're conditioning yourself to always train when it's perfect. And it's never gonna be perfect. Very little days you're gonna have perfect days unless you live in some kind of an, I don't know, maybe on uh, a tropical island or something. And even then, the conditions are not perfect because the humidity is high. So wherever you live, you should not avoid it. But you should, of course, be reasonable about it. If, if for example, there is a halo falling down, yes, avoid that and train inside. But otherwise, if you have planned to train outside and it's snowing, it's raining uh, or whatever, don't avoid it. It's windy outside, don't avoid it. Go out and train. Whenever you do the thing that you don't want to do, you strengthen mentally. It's very important. You don't want to go and train today. Your mind is playing tricks on you. Your mind is, by the way, is always playing tricks on you. It's always going to say, oh, maybe you shouldn't go today. Maybe there is this guy that you're always sparring that's, give you, that's giving you a hard time. Maybe you want to skip sparring with that guy. Don't. Go with him first. Maybe go with him twice. Maybe ask him to go in with him twice. Because that way, you're going to strengthen mentally. You're going to see that it's not such a big deal. And... Uh, you're gonna gain from that a lot now we're outside in the winter and by the way I couldn't wait until snow fell in Belgrade here at my hometown because every year it's getting hotter and hotter it's global warming taking effect and uh, we were I'm so happy that, that it uh, uh, snowed today and yesterday as well and what I do when it snows is uh, first thing I do when there is enough snow I go to my park where I usually exercise. Today we were in the park gym, we we're doing some exercises, but usually we run through the forest, which I couldn't do today because my foot hurts. I was sparring with this guy and it, it, I hurt it a bit. You actually have that sparring footage over here if you want to watch it. A controlled sparring footage, meaning we control when uh, how we hit each other, we don't hit hard. But what I wanted to tell you today is that you shouldn't avoid harsh conditions, either winter conditions, rain, whatever. So if you're having second thoughts about training, if you don't want to go, do it. Don't do it if you're sick, if you're injured or whatever, although when you're injured you can train around the injury, but don't avoid it. It will do, it will do you a lot of good, especially for your mentality, for your mental game. Edson, by the way, if you're watching this, Veiko and I are saying hello. So, uh, we miss you. If you like this video, like it and share it. And you can also subscribe to my channel. And if you like a more in-depth MMA training, check out my instructionals. My name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I will see you again very soon.